Okay, so this is going to be a way, too, way too fast rundown on spreads, but I'm not going to do the math. But a lot of people struggle with the whole bullish bears thing. It's really not that hard. Okay, the books make it more complicated. If you can just remember one thing, we'll start with the easy one, right? The trick. You look at the two strike prices. If there's two different strike prices, you look at the lower one. If the lower one is a buy, then it's bullish. If the lower one is a sell, then it's bearish. If you get that, move on, right? We're good. So if the lower one is a buy, doesn't matter, call or put, the lower one is a buy, you're bullish. If the lower one is a sell, then you're bearish. Boom. But let's go a little deeper. Debit means the same thing as buy. Debit, buy, own, hold, long. They all mean the same thing. So debit means buy, own, hold, long. So if I see, and then credit means, so credit means sell, short, right. Okay. So if you see that you have a debit call spread, okay, change the word debit to buy. Buy a call spread. That's bullish. Buying a call is bullish. Let's say we have a credit, credit call spread. Change the word credit to sell. Sell a call spread. Sell a call. That's bearish. On the put side, if it's a debit spread, debit, debit put spread, buy a put spread. Buy a put is bearish. Kind of works, right? So then we have a credit spread. Credit is a sell. So if a credit put spread, well, if you change the word credit to sell, just in your mind, think debit means buy, credit means sell. So if it's a credit put spread, credit put, sell put, sell put's bullish. I mean, just go back to that chart, that box that you all have, right? So debit put spread is bearish because it's buying a put. So a lot of times, sometimes you'll see this, say you're long a put spread or short a put spread, or even though in some of the vendors, they say stuff like long straddle, short straddle, which are different. You can say you bought a put spread or you sold a put spread. So you got to make sure that you can make those connections that debit means buy, own, hold long. So if you have a debit spread, debit call spread is bullish, debit put spread is bearish because buying, buying them. Credit spread, again, I'm just repeating it again. Credit means sell right short. So if you short a call spread, it's like shorting a call, so you're bearish. Credit call spread is bearish, credit put spread is bullish. Hope that helps a little bit. Let's do a little bonus. Remember, dead wives can't nag. We know this, right? So if it's a debit spread, you want the premiums to widen and you want the thing to exercise. Since you spent money, you want to use it, right? Because you didn't get money, you spent it. If you spent money, you want to use what you spent the money on. A credit spread, so dead wives can't nag. Debit widen, dead wives. Credit narrow, can't nag. I got permission from my wife, don't worry. So credit spread, you want it to narrow and expire. Because think, you have the money in your pocket, right? You have the money in your pocket. The money's sitting there in your pocket, and if the option if the options expire, you win. Very much think of Apple Care, right? So if you anyone of you has an iPhone and you buy Apple Care, and I go, why do we buy? Why do they sell Apple Care? Because they want to help us. No, they want the money. They're hoping that you'll buy it from them, give them the money, and then it expires after two years. It expires without ever using it. They keep the money. They have it up front. If they have to spend it, they will. But they know that 90, probably 90% 90 of those Apple Care contracts expire worthless. So that's just money. So whenever you sell an option, even selling a spread, you're getting the money in and you're hoping that the option expires. Always remember, whenever you sell an option or whenever you have an option and you receive money, you want it to die. Okay. Hope that helps a little bit. Wash your hands. Check me out Tuesday and Thursday nights live.